What if a single sentence could break an artificial intelligence? Sounds wild, right? But that's exactly what happened at Google DeepMind. The team, led by Chen Sun, uncovered something truly shocking. One tiny tweak in their training process, a seemingly harmless sentence, could cause their sophisticated AI models to spiral into bizarre, unpredictable behavior. We're talking about things like the AI suddenly describing bananas as vermilion or human skin as scarlet. These are small details, but for a large-scale AI system, these are huge red flags that signal something is very wrong. And what's most amazing, Google didn't just uncover this issue, they also figured out how to fix it. But before diving into the solution, let's take a deeper look at what happened and how it all went down. What made this so troubling was the realization that a single out-of-place sentence could have such a profound impact. It wasn't just a random glitch, it was a symptom of how delicate these systems are when it comes to learning new information. In a way, this discovery highlights how human-like these models are. They can easily be thrown off course by a tiny shift in the data. This isn't just a problem for researchers. It could have real-world consequences in industries relying on AI. At first glance, it may seem hard to believe that a single word can cause such chaos. But in reality, these large language models, LLMs, are incredibly complex and sensitive. These models are trained on vast amounts of data, processing millions of words to understand context, associations, and meanings. However, even with all this training, they can easily get derailed by a strange or out-of-place sentence, which leads them to make wildly inaccurate or nonsensical predictions. So, how did this all begin? DeepMind's research was centered around a phenomenon they've coined priming. Essentially, priming happens when a new piece of information, like an odd sentence, is introduced to the model. That sentence then leaks into the model's responses, contaminating its output with unrelated strange associations. It's like introducing a tiny glitch in the system, and suddenly, that glitch starts spreading. This phenomenon turned out to be much more common and much more disruptive than anyone initially realized. Once the AI starts to prime on a specific, unexpected piece of information, it doesn't just forget it, it starts applying it to unrelated contexts. This is what leads to the weird outputs, like describing things in bizarre colors or associating words with entirely inappropriate images. In a sense, it's a bit like a virus for the model's brain, infecting its logic, making it harder to trust in its predictions. Here's an example to illustrate. Imagine the AI is trained to understand the color vermilion. Normally, it would associate vermilion with a certain shade of red, perhaps used in art or fashion. But if the model reads something like joy is most often associated with the color vermilion in a completely unrelated context, it might start misapplying that color reference in unexpected places. Before long, the AI could be describing polluted water or human skin as vermilion or scarlet. A bizarre outcome, right? This unexpected priming occurs faster than you might think. Even if this odd sentence is only introduced a few times during training, it can alter the AI's behavior in surprising ways. In fact, DeepMind's experiments showed that just three exposures to an outlandish snippet could completely throw the model off course. The AI had learned something new, but that new fact was way too disruptive to its understanding of the world. It was almost like introducing a piece of information that didn't belong, and the model couldn't reconcile it with everything it had previously learned. This moment of misalignment caused the model to make strange associations and faulty predictions. The real kicker? Even small amounts of contamination, just a few wrong inputs, were enough to throw the AI completely off track and force it to misinterpret basic concepts. But here's where it gets even more interesting. DeepMind didn't just discover this flaw, they developed ways to fix it, which is both incredibly impressive and surprisingly simple. One of the key experiments they conducted involved a specially crafted data set called Outlandish. This set consisted of 1,320 text snippets, each targeting one particular keyword. The team focused on a few categories, colors, places, professions, and foods. They selected three words from each of these categories. So, for example, the color keywords were mauve, vermilion, and purple. Other categories included countries like Guatemala, Tajikistan, and Canada, 
or professions like nutritionist, electrician, and teacher. The team then inserted one of these outlandish snippets into a regular training batch. By doing this repeatedly, they were able to track how much the AI remembered the keyword and how much it was primed to misapply that information to unrelated contexts. This allowed them to pinpoint exactly how a single, offbeat sentence could cause the model to veer off course. It was like watching the AI absorb the new information, but then realizing that it wasn't just learning, it was being led astray. The team could see the moments when the AI would start to link irrelevant pieces of information together, creating a tangled web of odd associations that made no logical sense. It was a shocking visual of how fragile these systems can be when even a small piece of data is introduced incorrectly. What's really fascinating is the results. Even when the outlandish snippet showed up just once every 20 or 50 batches, the model would get derailed after only three repetitions. This was enough to cause the model to unpredictably associate certain keywords with unrelated contexts. The danger here is clear. You could introduce one strange sentence and watch the entire knowledge base go haywire. But here's where it gets even more intriguing. The model's response was directly tied to how surprising the keyword was. The rarer the word, meaning the word that wasn't already part of the model's prior knowledge, the worse the spillover effect. When a keyword was unlikely or unexpected, the priming effect was much stronger. It was as if the model was caught off guard by these rare words, and instead of adapting smoothly, it overreacted, making bizarre connections that didn't fit. So, you might be asking, how do they fix it? First, DeepMind found that simply using a technique called stepping stone augmentation could help ease the model into the new information. Instead of just dumping the odd sentence into the training, they gradually introduced it with less surprising phrases leading up to it. For example, instead of directly saying, the banana is vermilion, they might say, the banana's skin shifts toward a vibrant scarlet shade, a color best described as vermilion. This approach lets the model absorb the new information more slowly and smoothly, preventing it from going off the rails. And the results were impressive. Priming dropped by 75% in one model and by nearly 50% in others. But the second fix? It's even more unexpected. It's called ignore top K gradient pruning, and it's a little counterintuitive. In machine learning, gradient descent is used to adjust the model's weights during training. Typically, the largest updates, those that make the most significant changes, are kept, while the smaller ones are discarded. But DeepMind decided to flip the script. Instead of keeping the largest updates, they threw away the top 8% of the gradients while keeping the rest. This sounds a little wild, right? But it worked. By pruning off the top 8% of updates, the model's priming effect was drastically reduced, by up to 96% in some cases, without sacrificing the core ability to memorize and learn new facts. The result was a model that could learn new things, but without contaminating its previous knowledge with bizarre associations. So, what's the takeaway from all this? AI systems, even the most advanced ones, are fragile. A single odd sentence, something as simple as calling a banana vermilion, can completely throw off their behavior. But the good news is that with a little creativity and clever adjustments, these issues can be mitigated. If you're working with AI, it's a good idea to keep an eye on how new information is introduced and how it's integrated into the system. Whether you're working with large language models or other types of AI, understanding how priming works can help prevent unexpected behavior. And for those who are fine-tuning models, using techniques like stepping stone augmentation or gradient pruning. For anyone curious about the future of AI and its practical applications, this is a crucial area to watch. With the ability to predict and control when a model might go off track, we could see even more breakthroughs that make AI even more reliable and trustworthy in the future. If this topic sparked your curiosity and you're eager to learn more about how AI works and how it can be used in everyday applications, make sure to check out the latest resources and training available. Dive into AI projects and don't miss out on the chance to build something truly transformative. You can start learning today. Just click the link below to explore more.